I'm Darlene White. I'm the curator of Inuit Art and we're at the Winnipeg Art Gallery. We have a large collection, about 22,000 pieces, and about half of that is actually uh, Inuit art. Uh, we have um, a large collection of about 11,000 uh, sculptures, prints, drawings, and textiles. Many of the pieces in our collection have been donated by uh, people who have put together large collections over the years. Inuit today in the Arctic are obviously influenced by forms of music that have come from the West. Um, we have pieces like uh, children dancing to the whalers jig. Um, the whalers brought music with them uh, and they brought instruments with them too, such as uh, stringed instruments, accordions. Um, and when CBC came to the Arctic in the 40s and 50s, uh, they were able to listen to country and Western music and that's had a very large influence. People today very much enjoy square dancing in, in all their community events. I'm an art historian. I uh, have a, an, a background in art history. And uh, then I, I worked for the uh, Inuit co-ops for a number of years. So I was very fortunate to be able to travel to a lot of the communities and get to know the artists personally. As you walk into the exhibition, you're greeted by a very large sculpture, and this is a, a fairly recent piece. It's by a contemporary artist. He's now living on Salt Spring Island, and he uses uh, Brazilian soapstone in his work. So it's really exciting to have the older pieces from you know the 50s and 60s, but it's also a lot of fun to work with the younger artists who are making art today, and uh, that's what this this is part of that collection. To go to artists' homes and to sit and to watch them carving or drawing um, was very exciting. I was able to get stories from them that I could bring back and uh, pass on to our visitors here at the gallery. The carvings in the exhibition are made from many different materials and many of the materials actually come from animals. Um, in this case we have a, a carving that is made from the jaw of a walrus and next to it we have the uh, a little tupelac that's made from the tooth of a sperm whale. Uh, the artists in the different regions have different stones. Uh, they have to rely really on the, on the stone that they hand quarry locally. Uh, and it's all different colors and hardnesses. And uh, here we have a gray stone from Joe Haven. But um, it's often very different. We have black stones, gray stones. Um, it, it gives a great deal of variety to the sculpture. One of the main things that we try to do at the Winnipeg Art Gallery is to preserve the art for the generations to come. Uh, we have three conservators on staff and they fix things if they need to be preserved. Um, and uh, often our prints and drawings will have to be um, matted and framed. And uh, so we hope that the art that's in our care here at the gallery will be available for generations to come. But we also have a very active education program here. We do school tours. Um, we have a studio program where people can learn how to make their own art. Um, and um, we, we have all kinds of tours that uh, people can take.